Archaeologists have long pondered why it is that civilization seems to grow in fits and starts. But actually, what we call civilization is very much a product of the last 25, 30,000 years. Before that period, each generation did roughly what their parents did before them. And that went back into the very, very beginnings of time. So the whole essence of education was doing well what your parents had done. Now, with the advent of adolescence, which we are now beginning to understand was a biological adaptation that probably came in sometime between 60 and 30,000 years ago, so this is quite within the range of what shapes the human brain, but it takes a long time to do it. That essence of, I now want to find out for myself, in every generation has been the energy, which has meant the next generation has had to go further than the one beforehand. Because that bloody mindedness of the 14 or 15 year old who said there must be another way of doing this, they may still have that at the age of 20 and they try and do something about it. Now if we didn't have adolescence in the human species, it's arguable that we'd never have got anywhere like as far as we are at the moment. Because civilization is led not by everybody doing the same thing at the same time, but just a very few people doing the unthinkable. And in a sense, the advance of civilization is accumulation of a few people doing the unthinkable. Maybe half of those are complete disasters. But some of them are suddenly the thing that makes everybody think about doing it in a different way. And so, quite literally, the biologists are beginning to say, adolescence is the force that has actually driven the development of civilization, is driven within the human psyche, the ability for it to be acceptable to do something very different. Now, here's the magic of that, of course, that if we stymie that, if we stop people doing that, if we say that's just a damn nuisance, you mustn't get in the way, then we prevent humanity from asking the difficult questions. And one of the issues that every one of us has to deal with when we're talking to young people is that you have to say, why the hell can't we actually go and do the thing we are really interested in? And we say, because it doesn't fit in. By not fitting in, we may destroy the very chance of it driving civilization further forward.